Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about the reunion episode of season one of Rock of Love. This is the Rock of Love reunion special! We're also going to find out where some of the lovely ladies are now. Thanks for coming! <laughs> so, Rock of Love. Where do I begin? They filmed this one in front of a live audience, which makes it feel kind of weird. I don't know what it is. Legendary rocker Brett Michaels opened his Hollywood bachelor pad and his heart to 20 beautiful young women. Before it was over, punches had been thrown, alliances formed and destroyed, and one lucky girl was crowned Brett's Rock of Love. This is cheesy as hell, I can't. Lacey, the schemer, will face the woman she tried so hard to knock out. And our winner and Brett will be reunited for the first time. But first, please welcome the ladies of Rock of Love. All the girls we came to love. Ramsey, Magdalena, Dallas, Tamara, Lauren, Tawny, Jessica, Heather, Bonnie, Rodeo, Mia, Krista, Faith, Samantha, Erin, Tiffany, Christia, and Brandy M. You all look awesome. Most of you do. Here comes our boy Brett. Brett Michaels. <laughs> Liner on point as always. I think that the girls, and I say this, uh, and it's awesome to see all of them right now. I think they're what made the show huge. It's I, I was lucky, honestly. Take a look as we relive the amazing story of two young girls who entered the house as strangers but exited as BFF. <laughs> so this is like their clip show. It's like basically my job. Come on, you're taking my job away from me. <laughs> We decide that we should be best friends because we're both blonde and, you know, we can bond over that. And we're very much alike, so we're like, okay, we can be the Barbie twins. Regardless, you're my girlfriend. Hey, you're my girlfriend. Oh, and he's our boyfriend. Yay! Their drunk conversations were very fun. We're like twins. Kind of, but sort of, but not really, but still like twins. Oh, we're smart Barbies. But if we put our boobs together, we can think better. Oh, Brandy, C, and yeah. Christia, why don't you join us here so we can see what's been happening with the two of you. And, and by the way, if I do ask any tough questions and you need to put your boobs together to answer them, please feel free at any time. I'll, I'll double that. We can stand to be apart, so we're not roommates. Yeah. You're not roommates. <laughs> yeah. And they went on a road trip together. We came to Minneapolis, Minneapolis yeah. and then we did a road trip to L.A. and broke down yeah. on the border of Utah and, and Wyoming. Wyoming. This conversation is everything. <laughs> We made these dresses. These are actually yeah, we made um, these wedding dresses. We right. of wedding dresses. We were hoping if you changed your mind, we were we ready. Could just we're not ready. Right we, 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 we can go to Vegas. Yeah, we can okay. go to Vegas. I love this chaos. All the night, for some reason, Brandy was having a nightmare and punched me I punched her in, in the, the eye. <laughs> and then I woke up like I was all sleeping. And I guess I like punched her in my sleep. And then I wake up and I was like, Oh my God, did I punch you? I'm so sorry. I'm so like, sorry. I just screaming, screaming. And screaming. You can tell it's live because some of it sucks. And my dog is going crazy, jumping up and down, yeah. like, oh my god, what's going on? If you put your boobs together, you can think better. Yeah. Come here, Brad. Uh, that was good. Now let's talk about good old Mama Rodeo. And let's take a look back at Rodeo's journey through the house that Rock built. Well, when he brought it up, it made me feel like I used my child. And I miss my son. And then I started crying. God. Why are they showing all of Rodeo's crying scenes? <laughs> Poor lady. Why don't you come on down here? <laughs> Rodeo! How hard was it for you to leave the show that way? You know, sometimes you have to put your family first. That I never gave up on you, Brett. I, I couldn't shake you when I was gone from the show. Rodeo wants Brett to give her another shot at love. And I still feel for you, really, a lot. Thank you. Then I'm going to tell you something. If it doesn't work out, I want you to give me a second chance. Brett's like, sort of, maybe. <laughs> but I still really like you a lot, and you are an awesome human being. Thank you. <laughs> now Rodeo gets to plug her barbecue sauce. <laughs> it's organic barbecue sauce, it's all natural. You know, I've gone into a plugging line and, and everything. We had this emotional moment, and you still end up plugging something. <laughs> oh my God. I love this. Who's next? Check this out. What do you like in music? Like, what's in your CD player? Okay. Because this is stuff I wanted to ask them. Pantera, They're all in Mount Thor. <laughs> Sam. I want to go home. If he just wants to hook up with girls, and that's all, I don't want to be here. Sam, come on up here. 
Sam is looking a bit different with her poof in her hair. So 2000s. On the last episode when you left, it seemed like at that point, you were happier than you had been the whole time on the show. I mean, part of me, yeah, I wanted to stay, you know, because I was developing feelings for Brett, but I think I was expecting something different. And I don't know if because I'm old-fashioned, I was expecting a mental connection. Sam is so over it, and she's so over him. I didn't even think in, of a physical anything. That's not where I want to find love. I don't want to find love with a man that's, like, making out with other girls. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think you'd be sleeping with Lacey. I didn't think you'd be having a... Or, I, didn't, I didn't think you'd be having a threesome with the girls. You know what I mean? I had no well, idea. Keep on going, keep on going. What else didn't you think? She's calling him out for so many things. It's so good. As that situation's happened, I was like, whoa, this is so not the place for me because I'm such, like... I would not be able to trust you when you're on tour. Right. You know what I mean? And, you know, I don't think, I mean, would any, I don't think anybody would, you know? I want to thank you for coming up. You're welcome. Yeah. Now we're going to hear about Lacey. There was plenty of tension, argument, backstabbing in Brett's house. And whenever voices were raised or women were crying, one thing was certain, Lacey was probably making it happen. Here's a look at some of her best moments pulling the strings. No, no. No. Lacey is a crazy, psychotic, cold-hearted bitch. Mm. I definitely feel like the puppet master here in the house. I know you're a can I get no, angry? No, you're not gonna manipulate me! You don't oh. <laughs> Let's bring Lacey out right now. Why does she get her own special entrance? I just wanted to check if you do have horns. First things first. Why are you a bitch? <laughs> All of the arguing and the swearing and the talking about sex while you and Heather's parents were just standing right there. Right, exactly. You know, that was a little bit tough, but you know what? It's not like I'm out there, you know, doing porn or anything like that, so, you know. <laughs> no, but you were there doing Brett. She gets called out for being a tattletale. I kind of enjoyed being the catalyst in the house. And now we get to see Lacey and Dallas's rivalry. I used to have a rabbit, and I have many rabbit skin coats, so I enjoy That's horrible. How can you be a good person, person and condone cruelty to animals? I realized what a heartless, hateful she is. I need to wear all the dead so animals in the house. It's on. Get off of her, I said, ma'am. I'm your issue now. So they decide to bring Dallas up. <laughs> that walk. <laughs> what? Hello, Dallas. Hello. How are you? Can I have a seat? <laughs> What's gonna happen? Do you truly dislike animals? I don't dislike animals. I dislike You were saying this to get this under Lacey's feet. <laughs> Brett does eat meat. Brett does wear leather. He wears leather, I mean, snakeskin boots. I'm pretty sure he wears those boots almost every day. Can I, can I so, respond to that? I do feel bad. I do feel bad. Funny enough, I was shopping the other week and I, I found the cutest shirt. I thought it would be like perfect for her. So this is like my, you know, let's, let's make up gift for you. This is really cute. I think it like totally fits you. So what do you think? Dallas loves Michael Vick. What a weirdo. <laughs> You guys would make a perfect couple. Well, I don't date black men, but thank you for that. That's interesting because uh, we have that in common. I don't date black men either. It's time for Brandy to come up. I want to tell you this because I told you I'm a fan of the show and my friends stopped me. The comment that they have about you is, I want to party with that girl. <laughs> Apparently, Lacey's music video is bad. <laughs> like your music video on YouTube that smells like <laughs> sings. Oh my God, it's horrible. <laughs> I have no idea what Lacey does here to get back at Brandy, but the audience loves it. Wait a oh. second, here's Brandy's video. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I did eliminate myself what? at the end is because I did hear that you They're talking so much shit. And then, you know what? That turned me off. Well, that's hearsay. That I've that heard a lot of stuff too about a lot of people. Right? I wasn't the one sneaking in his bedroom every <laughs> night. <laughs> This is what we're here for, people. <laughs> the reason I was in his bedroom is because I wasn't winning any dates. I was losing all the challenges, and I wanted to spend more time with him. That's what turned me off about Brett, and that's why I wanted to go home. Ah, I see. I don't want to be with him after so, stuff so with you. So, all of the guys... <laughs> Brandy, I really want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Brandy. <laughs> what the heck? Now Lacey is going to perform. She pretty much just does this for three minutes. No thanks. <laughs> like, why is half the episode about Lacey anyways? It's probably because Lacey was one of the most talked about contestants. Everybody was probably tweeting about her. Was Twitter a thing yet? Oh my gosh, yeah, Twitter started in 2006, so you know people were tweeting about this. Welcome back. I want to hear what some of the ladies think about Lacey for a oh, second. Yes. 
We hear Mia's opinion on Lacey. There was one event on the show that actually just, <laughs> I lost it. One day where she decided she was gonna run streaking through the house, we all have a nice barbecue outside. So she comes up here like f***ing her in my face. I had a strawberry daiquiri in my hand. My reaction was like, oh my God, vagina. You know, I threw my strawberry daiquiri all over it. A lot of these girls seem very different live versus edited. So many girls working against you. It was important that you have at least one girl working with you. And there was that one girl at least until things began to fall apart, and let's take a look back at that. We're gonna see the fight between Heather and Lacey. That was so much fun. So, I'm gonna speed this up. We saw this, like, not too long ago. That's good stuff. Here comes runner-up Heather. Let's give it up for Heather. Funny, a little different response than when Lacey sat down here. I love her longer hair. Lacey and Heather get to talk about what happened. She made an alliance with me, and then at the end kind of turned her back on me. So that's when I kind of like lost it, snapped a little bit. The reason that I was attracted to you as a friend is because you're a strong woman. They're sorry. I do think I should have talked to you first about my feelings with you and your pants before I went to Brett about that. So for that, I do apologize. But I feel like the, the way that you retaliated against me was really hitting below the belt. I do apologize for that. I really do. And I don't think you're a whore, you know? <laughs> Thank you. This is really a touching moment. I think you guys should hug and make out. Pig? When we return, you'll have a chance to talk about that last day and that last decision. Let's get belly rings, piercings, tattoos. Let's do it. We're, thinking about, we're thinking about it. We're thinking about it. I'm gonna get yeah, right, my right, neck. Right. I'll get it on my neck right here. Yes, we're gonna talk about the infamous tattoo. Tattoo parlor, please. And hopefully see Heather's reaction to coming in second. Your first tattoo before you were really dating was Brett's name. What were you thinking? What they say is um, once you get one, you want a lot more. So I've got a couple more actually since then. Do you wanna see my newest one? Uh, do you wanna see your new tattoo? Yeah, yeah pull it off. I'm taking gauze off Heather's back. I'm taking gauze off of Heather's back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they do this dumb bit. It's a joke, it's a fake. Yeah. I'm not better, it's, just, it's a joke. But it's hilarious, come on, the <laughs> funny is Is there a time in the show that there was feelings between you and Heather? I don't think there was a time in the show that there wasn't feelings. I mean, we, we hit it off from the get-go. Brett actually kind of liked the way that Heather responded to his decision in the last episode. It was kind of a turn on. <laughs> no figure. laughing, wife. But it was, in, in a sense, if you don't have in a good relationship or friendship, if you're hurt by somebody, if they're not angry, upset, that's the first sign that they didn't give a crap. I'm sorry, things didn't work out, but we laugh our asses off together. They seem like they get along well. Bitter beer, right face. <laughs> Bitter beer, shoot me the Bitter finger, beer. call me hey, Probably didn't help. Yourself, right? The love. <laughs> when we get back, Brett and Jess, the wait is over. And thank you, Heather. Yeah. Brett, in the end, there could only be one girl for you. And that girl was Jess. Let's take a look back at the journey that led you to her. Now we're gonna see the whole relationship between Jess the winner and Brett. Guard up, hand out. She was short. This was her distance from me. But I gotta be honest with you, that immediate wall was kind of a turn on. I'll admit, I pretty much suck at dating, but what I do know how to do is music. This is called All I Ever Needed. So romantic. All I know right now is that I want to be with Brett. I don't know what it is when I'm with Brett, but it's that person that makes you feel giddy inside. You know, it's that, like, your first crush. They tried to make it seem so sweet and nice. Was it, though? I got exactly what I wanted. Someone who was cool, someone who was hot, someone who was smart, someone who was funny. She finally let her guard down. This was my rock of love. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Rock of Love, Jess. Yeah. Good to see you. How are you doing? She says, hi, how are you? So, I don't think they've seen each other recently. What is it like for you, Jess, watching what has just transpired with him and Heather? I feel for Heather because I think that girl wears her heart on her sleeve. Um, and that's probably maybe a downfall, you know what I mean? Because right. you can, somebody can grab it, take it, run with it, stomp on it. Not saying that you did. Jess coming in hot. But you might not have held it with enough care. To be honest, this whole entire situation was a complete mind for me. And what do you mean by that? When the show was said and done, you drove me to the hotel. You didn't even get out of the car. Big John actually got out of the car and walked me to my room. Oh, no. I'm not allowed to take you. I want to stre stress that point, that Brett was not allowed to have contact with you, to see you, to talk house. to you. When I got to that hotel, they were freaking out that I even left with you. So apparently the production got in the way of Brett being able to properly see Jess after the show. My thoughts is yes. that if it was real for you, Yeah. I think you made the wrong decision. You're saying now Heather was the one. Well, if you felt that then or felt that now, well, you should have said it then. Here's the thing. 
I'll be honest, you and Heather laugh about things that I could never, ever understand. You guys laugh hysterically about it. I'm kind of like, what the hell? We laugh at every. We, we look at each other and laugh. Right. We cry. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, balls there's, balls. There's, it's a connection. She thinks Heather should have won, and I think that we all think that. After seeing it, and seeing it truly how she truly, truly feels, and the bond that you guys have, and right. there, oh, there initially was that chemistry between them. I think Heather was the one. Heather and Jess hug it out. That's nice to see. It's fair to say that we don't know where this is going, but I think we're interested to see where it might lead. I want to thank all of the ladies, and I want to thank yeah. you, Big John. I want to thank you, Jess, and thank you, Brett. Thanks for watching The Rock of Love. All we're left with at the end is that he's not romantically with anyone, really, and that was their way of leaving us hanging for season two. They never mentioned season two like it's pre-planned, but I mean, come on. Oh my gosh, but in the credits we get to see our favorite lady, Tiffany. The greatest catchphrase ever. of Rock of Love. Just Don't throw at me with a good time. Oh. <laughs> the only difference is at that time we actually could understand what you were saying. <laughs> So Jess went on to not date Brett. She stayed out of the public eye because I can't find her anywhere on the internet. Nothing wrong with that. I was just curious to see where she might be. So I hope Jess is doing well. Heather does have an Instagram. I'll link it in the description. I gave her a follow. <laughs> After Rock of Love, she went on to be in I Love Money and Charm School, both of which I've never seen and I'm excited to eventually do on this channel. But honestly, she's looking great and and she's like a big time luxury realtor now, so that's kind of cool. Good on her. I'm glad that she's doing well for herself. Lacey now hosts a podcast called Talk of Love, and on it she talks to other reality stars from other dating competition shows. I'm gonna have to give that a listen. She has since also opened an animal shelter. How appropriate. No, honestly though, it's very cool and I hope it's doing well. I recently heard that like the villain of reality shows Typically, the production will come to them in the beginning and ask them to, you know, act extra villainy, villainy, <laughs> villainous. They'll tell them to, you know, start drama on purpose. And these villains get paid a little extra than the other contestants so that we get that primo content. Sam is also on Instagram. I'll link her down below. After the show, she became an English teacher and a writer. So that's very cool. Mia is also on Instagram and apparently hosts an HGTV show. She is also a real estate agent. I'm beginning to sense a little bit of a pattern. Uh, we have two real estate agents coming out of the show. <laughs> Erin has been out of the spotlight since the show, but she is also a real estate agent. Rodeo has an Instagram. I don't know why I was so excited to find that one. <laughs> apparently her real name is Cindy. Dallas also has an Instagram where she resells vintage clothing. That's very cool actually, I like that. Brandy C was later on the shows I Love Money, Charm School, and Megan Wants a Millionaire. Unfortunately, she doesn't have an Instagram because you know I'd be following that one. <laughs> it's really cool to see what some of the ladies are doing now that it's been like 15 years and I'm excited to see some of them on the other BH1 reality shows that I'll be doing in the future. I'll link all of their Instagrams and whatnot in the description in case you're interested. We'll be moving on to season two next. I also figured out how to make my own merch, so keep your eye out for that. As always, thanks for watching. Later, potatoes. Oh,